Everybody knows that Philadelphia is synonymous with... Tasty cake. And everyone knows the old Tasty Cake building is a part of Philadelphia's historic skyline. Tasty cake. Now this site will enjoy new life in the 21st century. Two, one. There you go. It will become Baker's Square, a 220,000 square foot community shopping center situated on about 30 acres surrounding the old Tasty Cake Bakery. It will bring jobs and businesses into an area that needs opportunity right now. We estimate that we'll be able to develop about 350 construction jobs in the next 18 months while we build this site. And afterwards, when this thing is fully built, we'll have about 700 permanent jobs. A state-of-the-art ShopRite supermarket will anchor the site. Owner Jeffrey Brown already operates 10 ShopRite stores and he has a vision. I have this idea that I could have people of all races and incomes work together to do things that no one in the country has ever done before. Open supermarkets in all neighborhoods, employ all local people, have a union operation uh, that's booming, that we could beat all our competitors, that we can overcome all the challenges that prevented this from working almost everywhere else in the country. The people who will eventually work here will find themselves with good family sustaining jobs. That provides hope and that helps the neighborhood. If they get the right training, the right support, and the opportunity to take care of themselves a family, to have both part-time and full-time good benefits for them and their family, a pension plan, a 401k. And for them, it becomes the place they spend the rest of their career or the place that helps lift them to better opportunities. I'm trying to collect these, you know what I mean? Because that means good stuff is going on in the neighborhood when you got some ads. Senator Vincent Hughes says the state is expected to invest $12 million in the project, but the return on that investment will last for generations. So we've got to turn these distressed communities around. The folks who lived in these communities depend upon that, and the state is an active and fully engaged partner. When the state participates, then communities can turn around. We already have an example of that at 52nd and Parkside. It's going huge over there. There's a thousand people working in that neighborhood. We're going to replicate that here in this area. Wheels of progress are already turning around this neighborhood and jobs are already here. More are on the way.